Okay. That's already filming. I got all this footage. I, uh, You've been recording this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the, the like the blooper footage and stuff. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back once again to my new YouTube series entitled Own Your Shit. Sounds good, right? Sounds awesome. Sounds good. All right. So today we have trainer and health coach Nicole. No. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna butcher your last name. So how do you say it? Malkiel. Malkiel. So we have Nicole Malkiel, um, and she is the owner of Shape Your Being. That's correct. Shape Your Being LLC. I I put this uh, camera angle because I really like the Dream Big, Start Small, Act Now. So Nicole. Tell the uh, the viewers a little bit about what brought you into the realm of health coaching and training. Okay, about seven years ago, uh, I was sick all the time. I was tired. I had um, really bad asthma, um, allergies, rashes, like all kinds of different things. Um, having panic attacks. Um, couldn't figure out what was wrong. I thought my job was stressful. Um, I used to work in finance. I had a desk job, sat all day. That would be stressful. Um, tried to get more <laughs> active, um, and in doing so, I decided to get my personal training certification um, just to kind of educate myself about what I was doing for my own personal training. So who are you certified to? Um, an FPT. Okay, cool. Um, so I did that, and then um, I progressively got sicker, even though I was working out more and taking better care of myself and eating better. And I soon discovered that uh, I had a lot of food intolerances okay. for things that I was eating every day, um, like peanut butter and corn and wheat and soy and all of these things. Um, so as I started to educate myself about that, um, I got more into the health coaching realm. Um, I found out it could be actually a career. Yeah. Um, I wanted to teach as many people as possible um, that they need to know what's in their food and that their food could be making them sick. Awesome. So how long ago did you make that shift from finance to the health? I started my business six years ago. Okay. Um, so this all started about seven and a half years ago um, when I was trying to discover you know, what was making me sick and why I was so run down and tired all the time and stressed out even though I didn't feel like I was stressed out. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you probably had allergy testing done and, and all that stuff and that's kind of what determined some of your intolerances and the stuff yes. you shouldn't be eating, that you were eating? Exactly. Okay. So what kind of, I guess, steered you? Did that interest you, the allergy testing and, and discovering that? And I guess, what are you doing in terms of your coaching clients for helping them on the nutrition end of things? Well, I coach people on uh, elimination diets, okay. um, which is necessary if you do have food intolerances. Um, you want to eliminate everything that could be possibly a trigger. Okay. Um, and then you can slowly add things back in over time uh, to see actually what you're, um, what you can tolerate and what you can't tolerate. Um, so I, I coach people on that, but um, mainly I'm big on food education. I don't think that people realize what is in their food to begin with. Uh, people don't read labels. <laughs> um, Stop you know, listening to everything that they put on TV. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, people don't really know that much about um, the difference between organic and conventional. Um, produce. Um. So my thought real quick because you brought that up is do you believe or are you at home comment please do you believe that all of the organic stuff that they put out there and label organic like do I know that I'm really getting organic lettuce as compared to non-organic lettuce just because it's packaged and priced higher? Well absolutely it's regulated. Okay it is regulated because I know US does not regulate a lot of stuff like European law and stuff like that. Right. Well, the organic food industry is highly regulated. So okay. you do have to be, it actually has to be organic if it says organic. Now, if it says natural, then it could be anything. It could be anything. So thoughts real quick. I know a lot of people debate on organic bananas because it's already in appeal. Does it really matter or not? Oh, organic yes. bananas. <laughs> well, if, if pesticides still get into the soil, then it yeah. can still come out into in the fruit. It also helps or also sometimes makes um, the fruit less nutritious. Okay. It, it depletes some of the nutritional value. Um, but as far as, you know, if you're eating the, you're not eating the peel, so the inside mm -hmm. could be safer. But like I said, it could come up through the soil, go into the banana itself, and then, you know, it could affect the nutritional value. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. So still buy organic bananas, guys. <laughs> It'll be better for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so in terms of personal training stuff, 
Mm -hmm. um, do you have a space that you do stuff? Do you do more in homes? Do you work for somebody outside of just your business for take uh, for shape your being? Or how how does your personal training stuff work? Uh, personal training, I mainly um, train clients in their homes um, okay. or outdoor locations. Um, I do have a contract with um, Darien Parks and Rec, so I teach classes on the beach in Darien. And right now we are in your Stanford office location. Yes, this so is my Stanford office. Stanford and in-home basically Fairfield County? Yeah, most of Fairfield County. Okay, Fairfield County, Connecticut. Go ahead. Yeah. Dar <laughs> you got Darien um, contract for what? Oh, through the Parks and Rec Department. I teach um, HIT classes, high-intensity interval training mm -hmm. on the beach in Darien. Okay. So I have six classes a week there. So is that what your normal training style looks like? Is hit with your clients or who tend to be who tend to be your higher percentage of clientele? Women, men, injuries, uh, at home fitness freaks who just like to go, 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 boot camp style? What do you like to work with or who do you typically work with? I have a variety of clients. Um, however, they're typically women. Um, you know, I've had a few um, male clients over the years, um, but a lot of like the clients that I meet with are during the day. Okay. So they tend to be like stay-at-home moms. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have um, male clients who are just um, you know hardcore, want me to come train them for half an hour or something before they have to be at the office, uh, stuff like that. So um, I do a lot of hit training. Um, myself personally, but I think it depends on the client. I have clients who are, you know, um, more active than other clients, so I'll do more hit training with them. If they're, it depends on them what their goals are, really. Right. Okay. Because I, I mean, if you have someone who wants to train for a marathon, and hit training is not really going to be their number one, t you know. Type okay, of so you don't have a, a set style that you like to go with. You're very versatile. Yes. Okay. Cool. Depends on the client. Depends on the goals. Everyone's different. Totally. Well, one of the things that I love about being in this industry is that you know everyone's an individual. Mm -hmm. So what works for you may not work for me. What works for someone else, you know, may not work for for me. You know, it's always different. Body's always changing. Everybody's different. Biochemistry is different. Hundred percent. So. <laughs> so like, well, it took me. So I've been doing this for eight or nine years now, going on, and it took me from wrestling, some neck injuries a torn knee and a really jacked up ankle to really say, okay, my niche, I like movement therapy, pain management, um, mobility work, stuff like that. So I do have people that come and say, I want to do bodybuilding show. And I, you know, I, at this stage, I'm more than happy to refer out. So like you say, marathon runners or something like that. Right. I will train for corrective movements and I will, I will help for mobility and restoration but I don't want to put you on a program and I don't like, that's not what I like to do for me. Right. So good to know that you like to do different versatile stuff. Cause if I ever come across people that are in the Stanford area or local that I don't like to work with, I always guys, the whole V the whole reason for this series and you know, Nicole reached out to me to, to be a part of the show is because of collaboration. So networking and collaboration is huge. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Don't, um, don't put yourself into a box and think that you're better than other people. You know, you never know who can who can offer you what. Right? Exactly. And I think that stuff like this is a very personal thing. So, you know, someone who connects with you may not connect with me or someone who connects with me may not totally. connect with you. Um, so it's always good to have a bigger network of people that are doing kind of the same thing. I mean, we're all after the same goal, right? We want to help people. We want people to be healthier. Well, we should all be after that. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> that well, same goal. <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, but you know, we want to help people and do what we can to help people. And if I, you know, if I have a client who just um, falls into a different category, you know, maybe they need more help with mobility, I'm going to send them to you rather than try to take it on myself because, you know, I don't need there's only so many hours in a day. Right. And like you know, you can't fill up every hour with clients because you have to drive to them, you have to prep for nor them. Nor would you, have you to want to run any, a business. <laughs> any upcoming trainers? Nor would you want to fill every hour. Don't <laughs> exactly. Don't do that. You will very soon burn yourself out exactly and i think you know i come from a place which i think you do too um is a place of abundance there's enough for everybody there's enough to totally. go around you want to help people out you want to be able to do um what you can to help everybody mm -hmm. i mean if i could help everyone i would but i can't i can't do that i'm only one person so you try to kind of spread it around and that's a great statement um again anybody watching you know 
the the world is an ocean it's not a pond it's not a river right there's more than enough to go around so build your networks build your collaborations don't limit yourself by putting yourself in a box of you know just staying to yourself or thinking that there's nothing out there that anybody else can offer you differently no matter how much you think you know about one thing so so we do hit training we do health coaching now take me through like a well, A, where are you getting, where are you finding more of your clientele coming from? Most of my clients come from referrals. Okay, from other clientele? Yes, from other okay. clientele. Um, what is your take on networking and networking, not just networking, because a lot of networking opportunities, but networking with referral sources, meaning other health professionals, in terms of having that as uh, potential business collaborations by them sending their patients or clients your way and that kind of cross promoting I think it's extremely beneficial for business um, I think that like I said you know we all, we all want to help as many people as we can mm -hmm. and I think that you know having a network of people with um, you know like-mindedness you know being healthy eating healthy you know um, like this continuing education kind of thing um, a personal development I think it's great to have a network of people like that. I think that you know um, you're as good as you surround the five people you surround yourself with uh, the most. I love right? that one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So if you surround yourself with people, other people who are kind of going after the same things, um, I think that's great. And you know, if you can refer business to someone, um, you know, why not? <laughs> right. I think you just want to help everybody. So for you and training, and you know, I know kind of who who my circle of influencers are, but what is I guess the top three connections that you would benefit more so in terms of like acupuncturists or physical therapy or other trainers, those top three referral sources um, that you would like to connect with that maybe I could help you out or other people watching might be able to reach out. Um, I'd like to connect with other health coaches. I think that um, people don't really understand what health, health coaching is. Um, True story. <laughs> yeah. um, so I would like to, you know, get that more of um, education about what what we do okay. um, out there. Um, also, um, I think yeah. <laughs> along with um, you know personal development, I I would like to be um, connected to, to more life coaches. Okay. Um, because I think that you know um, health and fitness um, are definitely related to um, the mind and balance, finding balance in your life. And I think that um, you know having a, a network of life coaches that could you know maybe help with um, getting, giving me some referrals or whatever. And I can too, because uh, even as a personal trainer, a health coach, any of those things, you always end up being a life coach because you end up helping people. And a psychologist and a therapist. And a therapist. <laughs> exactly, exactly, all of those things. Um, but I think that, you know, um, some of that could funnel um, in both directions. Okay, so health coach, life coach, third one? Um, general practitioners. Meaning? Meaning doctors who, you know, see patients who may not know um, about symptoms that could be caused from food intolerances, um, things like that. I, I mean, I had a, an excellent doctor, but it took him, you know, a year and a half to figure out what was wrong with me. So if I could connect with more general practitioners and talk to them about what it is I do, you know, I could get some more referrals from that, but mainly, you know, help people figure out what's what's going on, why they have no energy, why they can't sleep, why they can't, um, you know, be as active as they'd like to be. Sure. Okay. Why they're miserable. Well, that's, yeah, that would be psychology and a little, <laughs> a little bit of additional pieces to the puzzle. Right. Um, I'm surprised that you didn't mention massage therapists. I would figure with personal training massage therapy that might go... Yeah, absolutely. I just didn't think of that one. Okay, number, <laughs> number three and a half. <laughs> number four, three and a half. Well, Massage therapist. Two sure. number three. All right. So one of the um, one of the good things, and like I said, you know, the purpose for this videos uh, or this channel and these videos is kind of off the cuff interviews. This is the first time that I'm meeting Nicole. Um, like I said, we reached out, we've connected over social media, but first time I'm meeting her, first time I'm hearing her story. Uh, and I have an extensive network, so people watching might have an extensive network. I can already put her in touch with two life coaches that I know, and I can already put her in touch with two health coaches that I know. So she's telling me what she's looking for. I have the network of people that I know she's looking to connect with, and I can help my people 
and her connect and hopefully collaborate and just make an introduction for them so that they can start forming a better connection for themselves, which is awesome. That is the whole point of why I'm doing this. So Nicole calling you out on the spot. Where can we find you on LinkedIn? Yes. LinkedIn, <laughs> where we just type in Nicole. Nicole Melchio, M-A-L-K-I-E-L. Okay, we'll put that up there. Yes. Um, IG. She Nicole prepped, Melchio. She prepped for this before because <laughs> she didn't know it because she doesn't use it that often. Oh, my battery died on that one. All right. Okay. So Nicole Malchio, IG, um, Facebook, just Nicole Malchio. Yep. Page. Um, and my page is Facebook slash Shape Your Being. LLC, if you shape your being. Just shape your being. Okay. Shape. We'll put, <laughs> we'll, we'll, she thinks, we'll put that up there. <laughs> and it'll be right if, if you just type in whatever I'm going to put up on the screen. Okay. So Twitter, not on? Uh, yes. Yes, you're on Twitter? Yes. Under? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we're, we're going to throw that one up. These these women don't know their Twitter. My last, Amanda didn't <laughs> know her spot. Twitter. Either. So much pressure. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put all that up there. Do you have a website? I do. It's um, www.shapeyourbeing.com. Okay, perfect. And they can find you for contacting you for further information all on your website? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, Last piece of the puzzle, what would you um, what would you give any advice to people that might be looking to get started but don't know where to start in terms of their health and, and well-being. They know that they want to make a change, but how would you recommend being a health coach? What would something very easy that they could start? A very easy, uh, start eating clean. And meaning by? <laughs> meaning, and stay away from packaged foods, um, eat fresh fruits, veg vegetables, know what you're eating basically because you don't know what's in packaged foods. You Cut your eat. sugar. That's what I would say right off the bat. Cut, Cut your, your sugar. sugar. No, <laughs> no sodas. Sugar. No soda. All right. Well, thank you very much, thank Nicole, for being Thanks, a part Chris. of the show. Um, again, we're going to put all of Nicole's information up there, so please follow her on IG. Check her out on Facebook. Um, if you're professional, you can add her on LinkedIn, too. And uh, check out her website. See what she has going on. All right, guys. Thanks, Chris.